All right, now that we see why a template is useful, let's talk a little bit about setting up multiple MIDI devices. In this video, I'm going to give you some useful tips just on using multiple MIDI devices within Record. By default, Record is set up to where if you select any track within the sequencer, it automatically puts MIDI focus on it with your master keyboard. This can be frustrating if you're working in Rewire because you may want to put MIDI focus on another instrument that you're using in another DAW with Record. Let's go up to the Record Preferences menu and I'll show you how to fix this. In the MIDI controllers page of Preferences, I'll make my master keyboard input separated. Now, when I leave Preferences, if I choose to disable this track, I can just click on it again and the keyboard input goes away. I can use this to disable MIDI focus going into Record. If I'm also using multiple control surfaces, like you see here, I've got a way for dealing with this too. We'll go ahead and close up the Preferences menu. I can right-click on one of the tracks within the sequencer, and then I can choose to lock this to the Mackie control. Now it's going to be locked to this track, and it's going to stay locked to it. Now I can move my master keyboard over to different instruments within Record. Whenever I'm ready to undo this, right-click, and check it again, check mark's gone, and now it's no longer locked anymore. If I decide I want to lock my control service to the master mixer of record, I can simply right click on the master section and say lock Mackie control to this device. Now it's controlling the master mixer within record. This has been just a quick video on using multiple MIDI devices within record, just some quick tips from me to you. In the next video, we're going to focus on the scratch disk, what it is and why you should want to know about it.